Hey, Dream Tavern's back with some more mod action in SnowRunner. We're going to look at the Last Raider X3 by Zidon. Uh, we'll read the descriptions of these now. Uh, and also, I like to point out that um, when I make these videos, these things get updated. So this thing could be different by the time this video comes out. Um, so anyway, here I made... For you, some nice, old-looking, unbranded, off-road scout smiley face. Oh, hi all. Uh, mod made especially for consoles. It drives very realistically, and you can take it on every adventure around any map or around the whole world. Another smiley face. It has many wheels, suspensions, engines, and add-on options. Not too much interior. All right. Uh, hope you like it. Is it on? So let's check out this last Raider. All right, this is what it looks like. I don't know why there's no picture here, but it's a little pile of mud. I'm gonna purchase it and boom, look at this thing. Yikes. Let's see what all kind of things we can do to it. Ah, it kind of looks like an old timey Jeep like vehicle. All right. Um, Bunch of different engines. Of course, you want to put the best in there. Got a stock, a highway, off-road, highway special. Guess this if you're not riding on dirt. Soft crawler. One, two, three. Race and ultimate. Let's put on the ultimate. Because we're going to put some big tires on it. And then it'll make it look better. Whoa. Have a bunch of different tire choices. Of course, we want to go right to the mud. Those, uh, if you look at the wheel performance, they're, they're all average, average, good, average. They're not nothing. We want excellent all around. You should get some of them. There we go. How does mud tire not have excellent mud? Here we go. That's what we want. They're still not that big. We got to get bigger than 30. Let's see how big we can get these things. So we got some 40 inches in here. Those are pretty big. There we go. Ooh, ooh. Poor is terrible. Especially driving. But I don't know if there's any road uh, on this map we're going to play. Let's try. Let's try. A big difference in it 39 49. Let's do these. Y'all, those are monsters. A uh, winch, best winch. Uh, look at that little beast spare tire. I don't know where I was putting a little tire on the back. That's cute. We don't want to do that at all. Snorkel, sure, just for looks. Um, what? Oh, look, there's two little fuel cans. Yes, as much fuel as we can get. Yes. Yes. We want, we want what we have. It's a lot of fuel. All right. A roof, ladder, sure. We want to get on that roof, fog lights, sure. Front bumper, ugly. Oh, it does say off-road adventure, though. And it gives us another snorkel. That's interesting. Oh, it tells you protector and snorkel, too. Hmm. Protector and snorkel. That gives you, like, a little light right there, too, doesn't it? Let's do this one. Both ugly. This vehicle's ugly. It better drive awesome. Okay, we got some paints that do not match with what we're picking. Let's do with ugly green. We've never done a green before. Can't do that. All right. Look at that thing. Let's leave the garage and see what we get. Let's change the time to afternoon. So th I think this is the map we're going to play on when we show these vehicles off because we can we can go ride in some mud over here. 
So let's just get right over here to this mud and see what we get. Yeah, mud and rocks. But we're going we're gonna to do mud with this vehicle. Dang, it's pretty fast. I like the way it handles. So we have uh, all-wheel drive always on, differential lock. It's only available in low gear. It's fine. We have. It drives pretty good with these tires. I think these tires are not meant for the road. We we'll have to run it at night too to see what these lights look like. Ooh. Let's do that now before we forget. There we go. That's awesome looking. Some people might prefer playing at night. I don't really care. Look at those trees, man. They're beautiful. Right, let's get it back today so we can see what's going on. Alright. Then we got some mud over here, guys. Mud and pond. Whoa. Oh my goodness. So let's try put it in low and turn on that. That should make us get by this mud a little easier. It's really not a thick mud. We shouldn't be stuck in this mud like that. I like, the, I like the roof. I have to get that little window right there. It's pretty cool on the side. The top. This, what this vehicle reminds me of, it kind of reminds me of a little bit of like a Land Rover and a, like a Bronco 1 mix. Like an old Ford Bronco, kind of. Kind of got that shape. Seems to handle this pretty good. Let's put it back in low and see what let's put it low high and turn that diff lock on. Should get stuck. I wish that was on all the time. This is a work in progress too. I mean, all these things are so things can change. Oh yeah, I thought we installed the roof rack. I guess I didn't. Guess I didn't. We do have gas tank on the front and the back. All right, let's see if we can drown this thing. All right, with that snorkel, baby. Heck yeah. All right, that's awesome. I feel like this thing's more suited for mud and like rock crawling, right? It looks kind of like a mud vehicle, not like a crawler. I guess you could do anything with it, though. Anyway, that's this vehicle. I like the way it looks when it gets dirty. That's pretty awesome. 